I have known you for 16 years now, and I am blessed to be the one standing here in front of you today. There aren't enough words to describe how I feel about you and what our relationship means to me. The day I asked you to be my girlfriend, I knew I would marry you. Nick, almost 10 years ago, you and I both sat across from one another in a payway, and we told one another that we would be there on each other's wedding days. Well, Nick, we kept our word. Yeah, we did. <laughs> because we're here on our wedding day. We kept our word because that's what best friends do, and that's what we do. The way you two share your love and the way you look at her makes me and I'm sure everybody else in here strive for the exact same thing. You guys love each other endlessly and it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch. writing out your name because I have thought of this day standing beside you for years. I was 10 when God put you in my life. I am the woman I am because of your pursuit, encouragement, and spirit. I was called to be with you. You're my best friend. You're my Nick. You fit the mold quite literally <laughs> of my of my better half and I am more happy and more proud of the man who I am today because of you because you've helped me grow and develop over these years and have you've supported me and poured more love into me than I could have ever imagined before here on this day that you planned for us when we were 10 years old. God, thank you for this man and this day. It's all you, God, and you have glorified us and blessed us in so many ways, and we pray that we turn today towards you and that we remember that you gave us the gift of one another and that I, our marriage is going to start <laughs> today. And I, I love this man, and I'm so thankful for you, God, to be with us, bring us peace enjoy as we read these letters and know God that we are forever thankful. Forever, forever. thankful. I bought you some cufflinks. <laughs> With their, with their, it broke, but you can keep it in your pocket. It's mini too. And it says, always by your side, which I am and they are too. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> I'm such an ugly crier too. No, you're, you're so handsome. Yeah, no. So, you, I know how much our family and means to us and how we do have a lot of people that we wish we could be here that, that aren't here today. Um, but they are here in spirit. Oh. As you could have guessed. Oh. It's <laughs> beautiful. Final diamond of our, of our family story. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> and,
love the man that you were, the man that you are today, and the man that you're going to become. Through every season of life, God always told me to come back to you, my best friend. Nick, I vow to always come back to you and to chase the love that we had that first summer when we turned our friendship into a future. You have taught me so much these past 15 years, and I vow to keep learning with you. You have always encouraged me to be nothing but myself, and you challenge my way of thinking so we can grow stronger together and that we take this journey side by side. I get one shot at this extraordinary life with you, so I vow to give it all I've got. So Hannah, I vow to remember what it's like to be a kid with you. I vow to never stop pursuing you. We turn to each other for guidance, for love, and sometimes for just an ear to listen, especially during this past year. You have led us and have encouraged me to actively make it more of a focus in my life, which I am extremely thankful for and has been a principal source of growth for me. Hannah, I vow to actively encourage spiritual pursuit in our relationship, in our marriage, and to grow closer with every challenge we face. We have known each other since we were kids. We have celebrated in times of happiness, listened in moments of conflict, and supported in times of hardship. It has taken work and trust to be as vulnerable as we are with one another. Which brings me to my final vow. Hannah, I vow to be vulnerable with my emotions and thoughts, and I vow to trust them with you for the rest of my life. I will love you forever for the rest of our lives together. You have now declared your consent and vows before God in this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. With that being said, you may kiss your bride. us, wherever we are, can sit here looking at Hannah and Nick and be reminded of what true love is, that it is possible, and that it can be found. This is not just the love between you two because it's lovely and pure and wonderful and we get to see it every day. It's the love that you show everyone. I'm thankful for that little sister of mine who stood in front of that Disney castle. I'm thankful for her Prince Charming. And I am excited for this beautiful woman sitting next to me, entering her marriage with the same hope and optimism she started her love story with. So, to my brother, my best friend, his new wife, let's raise our glasses to love, life, and laughter and happily ever after as Mrs. and Mr. Obramski. Cheers. Cheers.